Hey guys, I'm Brew, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing Crisis at Call Center. This is the second game in the Lancaster Leak series. This game is found on Itch.io, and as always, the link will be in the description. We're going to hop right into it. Let's check our settings here. Graphics very high. Alrighty. Valerie is still missing. Perhaps we have to kick it up a notch. If the cover up of one death wasn't enough, how about multiple? You know, the one you facilitated. FBI warning. If you guys haven't watched the first one, it is up on the channel. Um, I highly recommend it was a pretty good game. In that one, we go and visit a campground. Or more so, we're watching tape from a disappearance that's recorded at a campground, and we're kind of playing through the tape. Entity president status resolved. It was uh, Skinwalker last time. My apologies if you can hear my dog backing in the bark barking in the background. I don't know what she's doing. BNL call center. Case is focused on the events that transpired here. Location is irrelevant except that the entity was detected three days before. The employees weren't notified. Entity Research and Defense Task Force promptly set up wiretaps and social engineered access into security cameras and computers. Ashley Johnston, 31, was a single mother who worked at the call center and put in extra hours performing janitorial services. During the events, the entity selected her as a target, especially during the after hours. This tape focused on the unprecedented interactions Johnson had with Entity and services as a basis for future research into E-139. The chronological events of the entity capability test will begin, starting with the first time the entity was captured on film. I'm not switching through cameras, by the way. No unusual activities, wiretaps, cameras, and computer spy were operational. Subject begins after hours work. Subject went to the computer to see nightly tasks. Okay, so we're looking at the... Resident Evil style, the old. Hey, Ashley, could you make sure to take out the security break room and storage room trash? I can't think of anything else tonight, so that will be it. Not a huge fan of this style. Can't go in there, no. Ah, uh, security room trash here. storage room.
storage security and what was it break room right not the meeting room total film coverage was achieved using hidden cameras that is disturbing There we go. We power walk kind of quick. <coughs> Subject leaves through front door with tasks being complete. Assuming that's back door. Oh my god. So that entity looks a little different. In a night one, subject finishes tasks and heads home. This marks the first time the entity was captured on film. Subject remains unaware of entity. Entity has not been seen since the previous night. No employee is aware of the presence of Entity. Entity becomes more aggressive. Subject begins after work hours. You start with the bathroom trashes, meeting room, and the entrance trash. Oh, also the dishes. Check your email once you're done. I might think of something else. Bathroom, meeting room, and entrance. Okay. Oh. My God. Not a fan of that. I don't think we can carry more than two at a time, right? No, we cannot. Okay. a little bit that's kind of weird Dude, this was the meeting room yeah Trying to get this done quick. Oh. 
Okay. There's dishes now. That's a dish there too, right? Yeah. What about these ones on the counter? Doesn't look like it. Subject returns to computer to check email. You were my happy place? Oh god. Oh, make sure to refill the printer in the meeting room. There should be some paper in the storage room near the breaker. That should be all for tonight. room is this again this is security room okay Subject investigates the power outage by going to the breaker in the storage room. What the fuck happened here? Subject leaves the front entrance. Entity stalks nearby. Out of here, we're running. Oh, God, yeah, it sure does. We made it. Any strange behavior to play and stalk its prey is best documented on night two. Despite its close encounter, subject remains unaware of the entity and dismisses the events as a break in. Possibility most intriguing is the fact entities left security cameras with power. It is only after the events we discover the entity knew we were watching and permitted it. Beginning of night three, subject begins after work hours. Urgent open now. Like I discussed with you this morning, I'm deeply sorry what happened yesterday. We've given the security guard extra hours. Unfortunately, something has been messing with our cameras, so we don't have footage. Take it easy tonight. Just do storage room trash, meeting room trash, and dishes. Please don't tell the employees about a break-in. 
Storage room, meeting room. All right. And we're here with the security guard. So we should feel better. Stuck behind this door. Dishes. You would think if a company had a security guard that they would be there all night. Where's the phone? My phone? This phone? Subject is lured away by a brief phone call. The power is cut, but the phone remains on. It is soon the subject also noticed this. I'm just leaving now, right? Like, can I just leave? Of course not. That's a problem. Why are we investigating? Out the back door, out the back door. We can't. You've got to be kidding me. Dude, I'd be so out of there. Now is not the time. Oh, shit. I Subject, get out of here. please, fearing for their life. Oh, my God. Subject makes the rest decision to call 911 at the phone that remained powered on. Why would I do such a thing? I absolutely would not. 911, what's your emergency? Please help! There's someone, something following me! Ma'am, I need you to remain calm. Where are you? I'm at first floor in one of the offices. Just send somebody to help me. Does the intruder have any weapons? No. No, it, it's not human. <laughs> like one with one of those four legs. Ma'am, are you on any medication or substances? No! Are you taking me seriously? For fuck's sake, send someone! Officers are on the way. You should remain in place and hide if possible. 
Should I do it? Subject was killed by the entity during a phone call with Crisis Actor. To continue the entity capability test, agents were deployed to clean the scene such that call center employees suspected nothing. Damn, dude. Would you look at this? <laughs> it's like, hey, would you shut up? Listen, how do we know for sure that it's not here? Hmm? Come on, man. This isn't your first rodeo. I just, uh, just hand me the peroxide and let's get this over with. With both subject and security guard bodies disposed, the scene was ready for more testing. The entity returned to the scene at 324.96. Following our brief clips that happened at 6 or 3 p.m., the behavior and abilities of the entity will be discussed after. At 6.03, making use of ceiling space, entity positions itself at the entrance. Phone lines were promptly cut after the first victim's death. She's on a rampage and all the doors are locked. Jesus. Unnecessary. I got the point. All right, the capability test results. The entity's capability test was a success, allowing the classification of the entity, which will be discussed next slide. The mass casualty event was blamed on Ashley Johnson, who after being fired, committed a mass shooting. Media suppression techniques were used to ensure the news didn't escape the local level. Entity debrief. Name Knuckle Walker. Threat three severe. Containment four difficult. Utility four significant. Entity threat score. Entity possesses the ability to psychologically torment and kill with ease. Entity is self aware and acknowledges observation from ERD. Entity is intelligent. Despite its appearance, being able to use and understand technology to further torment victims, Entity is often dormant with very few sightings. For these reasons, it has been classified as three severe. Containment score estimated to be less than 10 entities capable of using back doors to disappear. ERD is yet to capture or kill Entity. Entity enjoys being chased, setting traps, and hunting ERD agents. For these reasons, it has been classified for difficult. Entity Utility Score, it is unlikely to be able to manipulate Entity. Entity likely to kill victim once it selects its prey. Entity often psychologically torments victims. Potential uses deployment to enemy territory deployment against EOS, torture interrogation. ERD must learn how to get Entity to target a person of interest. Despite limitations, it has been classified for significant. So they're trying to use this thing. Closing notes, additional funding is needed for the capture of E-139. Additional research is needed to unlock the utility. Additional tools are needed to detect entity to prevent agent death and increase research opportunities. 
The research into the appearance of backdoors remaining the top priority. Control of backdoors could provide a way to capture E-139. I'm assuming it shifts through timelines. It's imperative to maintain a strict operation security and keep the general public uninformed of these operations to prevent any unnecessary panic or interference. Developer and author, Jeremy Fisher. The story doesn't end here. Read the associated R No Sleep Stories, also authored by Jeremy Fisher. Consider joining the Discord or newsletter. Interesting. Lancaster Leak Entity Exam. Huh. Okay, so that was the second iteration of the Lancaster Leak Crisis at Call Center. Like I said, we played the first one, which was the O'Brien State Park, I want to say. And that was really good, too. That was first person, and it was a different entity. I'm looking forward to seeing what Jeremy puts out next. Um, this series has been really good so far. I'm invested in the story. As always, guys, if you like the video, feel free to comment, subscribe, leave me a like. Let me know what you thought was interesting. Um, we're going to be playing a couple more of these games, I think, when they come out. And you should be looking forward to seeing this on the channel. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys on the next one. Take care.